Welcome back to News Make Alive on DBS. And usually Wednesday, you'd be seeing um, on the program Mr. Clinton Reynolds. He's out of the island um, for the next two weeks, and I'm Jerry George sitting in for him. And uh, today, we're looking at the National Community Foundation's telethon that's coming up uh, this weekend. All the money raised will be going towards assisting persons in seven different areas, which has been outlined by Mr. Mr. Weeks, who is the chairman of the NCF. So um, youth at risk, we're looking at all the persons. Um, we're looking at um, the disadvantaged um, children, uh, health. We're also looking at the homeless and persons with disabilities. These are the seven areas that the money raised um, or at the marathon, they'll be used to fund projects for these various um, um, com communities. And our headliner artist is Kale. Kale is a hip hop artist. In fact, my notes say he's a sensation. And um, he has recorded, um, you've recorded any um, videos, uh, we CDs? We have a number of videos online as, as currently. We have, I put out. I say I'm on my fourth project right, right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I understand we have a call for others wishing to call as well. The number is on the screen, and we'll take our first call for the night. Thank you very much. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you Hi. doing? I'm okay, thank you. Good evening, Kale. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm okay. I'm just calling because I think I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> and I would like to say that I'm very proud of you. You know who's speaking. <laughs> I'm very proud of you and I'm very happy that you are here and that you are actually going to be headlining an event. I think a lot of us have been waiting for this day and we're very proud of you. My Thank mother you says much. she loves this look better than the last time you were here. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you very much. I also much. wanted to ask Mr. Weeks, Hi. could you list some of the artists who will be performing? Because I know we're speaking about K.O. and that's fine. But, you know, could we get, like, an idea of other people who will be performing on the day? I'm mm -hmm. tempted to say that, you know, it doesn't really matter who's performing. <laughs> you just have to be there yeah. no, on the particular know, day. You know, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, I just want a little, you know, something. Yeah. Okay, a teaser, right? Thank you. Okay, we have f Fourth World. We also have Nintus, that, who is our Calypso, Calypso uh, monarch. monarch. We also have um, Alicat, Ambi. Claudia Edward, Emron Henry, Jean Lawrence, Invader, Kale. We have Carol Victor. We have Lenny Stone. We have um, the Matrix Band, Meshach. We have also Michael Robinson, Monster. And these are just um, about half of the artists that, who will be performing at the telephone come the 26th. So, um, Apart from that, there's a fashion show, as you indicated, yeah. and uh, they have, we have poetry, uh, poetry reading. Yeah. Um, so um, people are, all we can ask of you is to be there, if you and can't pledge. be there, to also call the, um, our special numbers being arranged. Oh yes, they, yes, will, uh -huh. they will be flashed on the television screen and over the radio also, uh -huh. yes. all during the day. Okay. Know, so Fine. people can call in and pledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're trying to raise something like $300,000 this year. Last year, we had set a, a ceiling of $250,000. That was reached. Yeah, we got and we're that. hoping that we can take that much higher. Because as Mr. Weeks explained earlier, the need at this time in, um, you know, not only in St. Lucia, yeah. but across the world where economic hard times have hit most um, countries, we certainly need uh, the assistance of those who can provide us with that kind of assistance. And whatever you can pledge, as Mr. Weeks indicated, you do not necessarily have to have thousands of dollars. $20 can do just as well because it will assist in the work of the NCF. Am I right? Quite correct. Mm -hmm. Quite correct. Yes. Now, um, we are talking also to Keo. Remember, we are waiting for your calls. If there are any young artists looking for some sort of guidance, <laughs> we want that to happen. I know. Keo Consultants. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, make use of the opportunity of Keo because for the next couple of days, he'll be busy getting ready for the um, event. And so, here is an opportunity for you to call in and ask questions about the NCF's telethon as well as Keo and his um, um, involvement in music, not only here in St. Lucia, but in Canada. 
Now, now, Keo, what does it take in terms of hip hop music? I know it's very popular, but at the same time, there is a lot of resistance about yeah. that. You know, uh, well, particularly by parents. <laughs> the <laughs> biggest, by parents. Uh, yeah, well said. Yeah, the biggest barrier is that they don't seem to understand, understand. what it is. Yeah. I but, mean, there's know, definitely the message is always potent for young people. Though. Yeah, there's a, there's, right. there's obviously a, a generation gap, so to speak, <laughs> as far as it's concerned. Um, but I mean, I'm always I've always been a fan of the type of hip hop that kind of stands out in terms of you know it, there's a not necessarily a, yeah there's a message there's a mm -hmm. message in it there's a little bit more lyricism there's a little bit more skill and quality to the music that's th the type of stuff that I tend to gravitate mm -hmm. towards but um, I think what really helps uh, what helps hip hop artists because there's such a plethora of them right now but what really helps some artists um, some hip hop artists is to really be different be unique be something that is fresh to people's ears because nothing in life is is new at this point like life is just a cycle mm -hmm. it's a circle everything is kind of you know fashion comes back around all this type of thing so really just try to reinvent something and, and really come correct and create something different for the people that's what i try to do so parents have nothing to worry about really um <laughs> for me not necessarily i mean i'm a human being first yeah, of all okay. um, i really try to uh make my music relatable so i really want to create i want people to feel these genuine emotions when they listen to my music and that's why i really enjoy using melodies into my music because there's certain frequencies that people gravitate towards not even necessarily knowing why they gravitate towards it but it's just a certain feeling a mm -hmm. vibe that they get from it mm -hmm. so i really like to do that and uh, i mean just really like i said create some unique and fresh and different and and relatable to a number of people does the, the fact that you are from a small country St. Lucia mm -hmm. and the experience of growing up in St. Lucia relate in any way to the music that you produce most definitely mm -hmm. most How? definitely I think it really helped me stand out when I moved to Canada because being from St. Lucia or being from the Caribbean it really gave me this sort of like there's a certain rhythm, a certain vibe, a certain okay. energy, mm -hmm. a certain presence, if you will, to my music or, or my, 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 my presence on stage that people gravitate towards because they're not familiar with it, especially in North America. And that just kind of gave me, I just want to have, you know, fun when I'm on stage in my music and people can see that. And then it's like a smile. A smile is contagious. That's what people feel that and people gravitate towards that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And that comes very naturally. <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's interesting because, Kyo, what, what is happening, I mean, every time you talk, is that you continuously, you know, are improving your brand all the time, obviously. So. Yeah, I mean, and this in itself is, is a blessing to be is, able to do this. Good. Yeah, so thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what else is going to be happening? Apart from the music mm -hmm. and the musicians, it has to be an atmosphere. Right. Um, and I was going to say to you, Jerry, that we want to make it a family day. Mm -hmm. So for the children, you'd have uh, the, the usual bunks in castles, face painting, you know, and um, what else? Things like lucky dips and on, and so on. Mm -hmm. So the young, so the young ones will not be left out. And uh, that uh, we starts. Open, we try to open as early as possible, twelve. Uh -huh. I'm sure, it still starts at, at one. You know, we hope the national anthem will be sung <laughs> at one. <laughs> <laughs> We're not like the college hotel. We, we, we sing it and then the show doesn't start until <laughs> okay. an hour after, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, no, we, we, we're going to try to start off on time. Well, you will have to, Officially because considering that exactly. the, um, the long can't. list exactly. of artists, you know, they yeah. either have to be coming yeah. on yeah. one after the other or rush them, rush <laughs> you know, and that is not something that we want right. for the total right. enjoyment. Yeah. Again, I want to mention and implore solutions to come out and support the, the, the um, telethon yeah. because it's going towards all worthy causes. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific area that gets more attention? in your um your configuration of the of the funds well in every 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 um year it appears that the, the two main areas who, which get the highest percentage of the the funding is the the scholarship program which i mentioned and the health mm -hmm. you know in um 2011 they they accounted for over 80 percent of the oh. of the funds mm -hmm. you know but the outcomes are excellent in the sense that and what most of those persons who have the experience, like um, Mrs. Lee and, and Juliana, who was the last executive right. director, you know, what, what gives them the joy for, for is the fact that, you know, people actually, you know, like you say, save, lives are saved, mm -hmm. you know, and lives are changed. Because I was looking at some of the results of those scholarship people, you know, the youngsters, you know, some of them, in some areas, you know, 
hundred percent passes, you know, exactly. with distinctions mm -hmm. and so. And one, and that begs again the whole question of, you know, when you, opportunity, because there you have people who are at a disadvantage, mm -hmm. get an opportunity, and you can see the the, the results of, of of what they do, you know. And you you say, well, suppose these people didn't get the chance. Exactly. What, what would have happened? You know, I, I read something you know, just this afternoon you know, that cure to cancer is in the mind of a child yeah. who does not get the opportunity. Of That's education. why we can't get it happening. Yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> we are. Huh? That's why it's not <laughs> happened yet. So we, you know, yeah, we have uh, what, they, what, yeah, what we have they're to keep saying, what they're saying yeah, is yeah. that, you know, if we can provide that opportunity, That's we it. need to. And that's where you come yeah, in by providing yeah, yeah. the opportunity for persons yeah. who would not otherwise, because I know so many um, children who do not have the opportunity for one reason or the other for going on to secondary yeah. school. They have to enter the job market yeah. quite early. Some of these statistics are, 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 are remarkable, Jerry, if you look at them in terms of success rates for, for those, those um, youngsters in the program. Mm -hmm. And what's happening now, and the new board has to look at it, in the sense that some of these have gone into graduate from university now, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's 10 years now, right? Yes, right. So now we're trying to get them something like an alumni mm -hmm. back into <laughs> our <laughs> into our program so they can now make a contribution exactly. to, 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 the, to the program. That is a great point. Yeah. I think we have a caller. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Yes. Good evening. Thanks for calling. Good evening, uh, Mr. Weeks. Good evening, good evening. Keo, good evening. Hi, how you doing? Good evening. I'm fine. Um, Keo, uh, um, it's, it's a good thing that what you what you doing. Uh, I'm happy that uh, how you've already uh, made some progress in in that arena of entertainment. And um, I know Jerry asked you about um, the achievement of getting a deal, EMI. Uh -huh. um, uh, one thing I must say about that is um, people need to know that getting a record deal is simply a loan. <laughs> That's one Very of the first things it's a what? companies a loan. Yeah. <clears throat> It is a loan. I have been part yeah. of a deal um, uh, as part of a group, and uh, our manager said to said straight to us, "Look, this is a loan that you need to repay. <laughs> you get an opportunity. It is basically um, a door that's open for you, and then you put your smarts on. You you think about um, uh, your your." what statement you're going to make musically in the form of whatever image that you you decide to to apply to your to your craft mm -hmm. so um there's this misconception out there that when you get a deal you've arrived in fact you've just begun you started. You've just begun that, thank you that is really the bottom line so that's one thing the other thing i wanted to say is um to you is um, my son worked with you a, a, a couple of years ago. I do not know if you remember Nathan. Nathan. Nathan Lee. Yes. He yes. Okay. He, yes, he of course. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Okay. He he he's still in the business, and he, and like you, he's very um, um, how you say uh, he's passionate about this, mm -hmm. and um, he's he's a uh, he started a company called Air Vision, okay, a production company in London. Okay. So um, uh, I do not know if you guys are still in contact, but uh, well, actually, I had been uh, I'd been trying to get in contact with him for a while because I was in contact with him a number of years before I left through a mutual friend, Vernon Polius. Oh yes, yes, they still keep in touch. Yeah. And uh, since I moved away, like he just sort of we, mm -hmm. we lost touch, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, it, it would be amazing to be able to to reconnect with him. He's very active, um, and uh, maybe you could just. Uh, Simply Google Air Vision, and you could get get uh, to find out from Air Vision his company what they what he's been doing. But he's been working with several artists, mm -hmm. uh, vocalists, rap artists, and so on in London. And um, uh, I'm sure he would like to um, probably get in contact with you as well. And um, hopefully that there'll be a collaboration there. Okay, Because you guys are yeah. sons of the soil, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. So um, true. It would be great if if that could happen. Is that air A I R or E A R? Pardon me. Is that A I R vision or E A R? It's air, yes, E A R. Air vision. Good question. Okay. Air vision, right? Air vision mm -hmm. limited. Okay, great. Thank you. Appreciate okay, that. Mr. Weeks, nice Thank you, Evan, very much, and great. I hope we'll see you um, at, at the telethon. You, I will. I will be there. I'm a musician. I will be there. Great, okay, great, great. Jazz, great jazz performance. <laughs> nice. Okay. 
Mr. Weeks knows who that is. Grid, <laughs> yeah, we know. I was just congratulating <laughs> you on your your performance over the jazz. Thank you very much. Enjoyed it a lot. I, I did, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank right. you very much. Okay, yeah. take care, Keo. Take you know what would be nice? In the future. You I know mean. what would be nice? It would be nice if um, persons who have benefited from the program can call in to give, uh, I wouldn't mm. call it a testimony, but <laughs> at least, you know, um, tell us yeah. how the NCF has assisted them in changing their lives or making life either easier or different for them. Yeah. We, are, we have another caller. Okay, well, we will take your calls when we return. The number is on the screen when we return. We want to hear much more from you, and we'll be hearing much more from our guests right now on News Make Alive. Back in a moment. <laughs>